is a Croctober meal for you. We're gonna make some lasagna in our crock pot. First I have some um, hamburger browning, or browning. Hamburger is the frosting in my microwave, then I'm gonna brown it. And then we'll whip it up and I'll show you how I put it in my crock pot. But I love making lasagna in the crock pot. It smells great. It takes away all that tedious time of boiling noodles and all that other jazz that is sometimes just not fun. And you can make it whatever way you want. You can use meat, you can use no meat, you can use beans. You have it how you desire. So um, I really find this is the best way for my family to eat this particular oh, lasagna. Oh, So I browned up my one pound of hamburger and I added to it about a half of a jar of ragu sauce that I had left over, a can of petite diced tomatoes, and I didn't even drain them. And then I added some diced uh, basil, garlic, and oregano. Now I did add just the tomatoes to the bottom of the crock pot with this, and then I put the rest in here, which was maybe a fourth of a cup left. Um, I don't know, this is something I do, I guess. <laughs> so that is there. And then over here I have um, a thing of sour cream, not just kidding, a thing of cottage cheese. And then what I did there is had about a cup of mozzarella, and I didn't have any shredded um, orange cheeses, I guess you could say. So I put some Colby Jack, I just diced up about four pieces together, and then I threw it in the mix. And I will top it off with the Colby Jack. If the girls weren't eating this, I would probably put Pepper Jack, because we both love Pepper Jack, but... So I'm going to start layering uh, my lasagna. I'm going to start so with my, my noodles first. Layer of lasagna noodles. I split them in half and then I laid them like this because I have an oval crock pot. And you know, depending on how you lay them, you could probably fit them in this way as well. This is one thing that he always gives me slack for about how they lay in the crock pot, but whatever, it's super easy. So now I'm going to put a layer of meat and. Um, well, I'll do cottage cheese. All right, so there is a layer of cottage cheese, and now I'm going to put on the meat and All right, tomato sauce. There is a layer of meat. Now I'm going to put my noodles on, and then cottage cheese, and meat again. And then another right. layer. Now I'm all the way to the top. I put a very fine layer of meat sauce over my last set of noodles, and now I've just put all plain cheese on top. I love how it's going to smell and how it is going to be um, melted. I did have a bunch of noodles left over, which is typical for this, but yeah, there it is. And we'll let it sit for probably three to a little hours. over three hours now. I would say three and a half. And it looks to be almost done. It's on low, so I'm just going to put it on warm and let it sit until he comes home for dinner. Um, but otherwise, it's all ready to go. And I will cut out a piece and, and there you go. Crock pot lasagna. Super easy. I hope you guys try this. Thank you for watching and have fun.